Did uh, comment? I asked Dean. I asked Dean. Dean told me. Good evening. Uh, Can you say your name and your address, sir? Yeah, my name is uh, Pierre Gabriel of the Lefer family. I'm a free man on, of, on the land. And um, first in order, I'd like to congratulate all of you for the, the recent uh, election, for your victory at the recent election. And I hope the people of Niagara Falls will enjoy a more transparent management than the previous one, although I want to say it before I read a bit. As a free man on the land, I have deposed at your office and there the previous mayor, Mr. Salsi, uh, as well as to the market manager, Mr. Minervini, my statement of understanding and intent of my claim of right on November 12 of this year. I received no objection or acknowledgement of any kind from him as well as from uh, the market manager, nor from the chief of police, or from uh, Kim Crater, or from Rob Nicholson, or the Attorney General of Ontario, Chris Bentley, or from Dalton McGuilty, or from Stephen Harper, which you probably know who is, all of them having been sent a notarized copy of that document. Silence equals consent, which means that this claim of right has been accepted. I have just a few questions for you, Mr. Mayor. Do you recognize common law as being the law of the land? You know what, I'm going to ask the clerk to uh, comment, please, sir. Uh, uh, the gentleman is a, or he was at our market, our city market. Uh, everybody who has a stall at our city market pays a fee, and it's a fairly nominal fee to be at that stall. He feels it's not appropriate that he pays a fee. As a result, we've had to ask him to leave the market because he hasn't paid. This is really a legal matter. If he wants to meet with somebody, that's fine. But, uh, you know, we've done what we're allowed to do under the law. Every other farmer or uh, marketer there pays the fee. He feels he doesn't have to. Uh, Sir, if I could uh, make a suggestion, yeah. it's probably not the right appropriate well, place like to have this. Uh, okay, well, you can finish up, and then I'm going to suggest that we have a meeting with the, uh, and I'd be happy to sit in on it with our city solicitor, uh, and we could make uh, that meeting. But go ahead, if you. Uh, yeah, I'd like to finish first. Uh, when I am here. Yeah, I was asking if you rec recognize the common law as being the law of the land. So, I'd have to be first. <laughs> If you do, the, the, uh, do you recognize This man the right? suffers a delusion as to what his powers are under the uh, common law. He believes that because he has this uh, imagined status, which is derived from some medieval understand, from some God. understanding of medieval, oh, oh, it's from God, mm -hmm. um, that he's not subject to the laws of Canada. Um, I am subject uh, to the common law, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm well, not, if you're subject I, to I the common law, common law uh, not contract law, commerce yes, law, yes, which is what you... The, the, the common law that he is given to understand is a law that only he is privileged to understand. Excuse me, I, the, 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 I don't know what the protocol is here, but has is, is this gentleman been on the agenda? For no, 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 he was you not. Know, how do, how do we get into these situations? Uh, do you want to send somebody out in the hallway and see if we can get some more people in before we can? <laughs> we still got this, not 11 o'clock yet. Through the chair, yeah, I mean. I'm a, I'm a taxpayer, so maybe yeah, I have the right the, to speak. Through the chair, I mean, you know. Council meetings, despite what people may think, are not public forums. They're not speakers' forums for people to come in and just air their grievances. We have a process to request deputations. We have a process where we can refer you to staff. And this gentleman's not on the agenda this evening. And as uh, the, his worship has said, his worship's willing to set up a meeting. I think Mr. Beeman has more than eloquently uh, discussed what the difficulty we have as staff. The fact of the matter is he's the only guy who doesn't want to pay the fee, and everybody else does, plain uh, and simple. Yeah. I have uh, said that is really not the fee, it's a uh, principle. And I, and you know, sir, I appreciate what you're saying. This isn't the appropriate place to discuss it. I'd be happy to sit down. Because people need to hear about this. Well, they'll hear about it because the media is here and you can speak with the media afterward. But what I would suggest is that we set a meeting up. I'd be happy to sit in on it with our solicitor and we can discuss this further. Okay, so I'd ask for a motion for adjournment. Uh, Councillor Iannone and seconded by Councillor Mames. All those in favor? Thank you. And, sir, we'll set up a meeting with our staff, okay? And we can do that maybe in the next week. Of course. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you.